ISC levels below the HP gauge and dictates how much damage the victim takes. Blocking fills the gauge, and the higher its value, the more damage they take. If it starts flashing, then things are getting dangerous. Any hits taken in this state are automatically counterattacked. In other words, if they've been on the defensive the whole time, this is a good way to land a bunch of damage by breaking their defense. Somebody's attack at the last possible second is called an instant block. And when you pull one off, you flash white. Getting the timing right for an instant block is hard, but the payoff is worth it. Sin, try and attack me. thing is really important. It's called a faultless defense. Faultless defense is a block that's stronger than a normal block. It's got lots of other benefits too, but for now, I just want you to remember a few things. First, it'll put some distance between you and your opponent. Next, it prevents the other guy from chipping away at your HP, even with specials. Finally, whoa, that sounds amazing. Damn right. It uses a little tension, but it's a real powerful tool. If you ever get in trouble, use it. Time to talk about the Blitz Shield. It's the most offensive defense move I know. It repels an attack, so it'll create a great opportunity for you to launch a counteroffensive. Whoa, oh, that's cool. I feel like I'm some kind of expert or something. Hold on, it ain't free. You'll have to say goodbye to 25% of your tension. You also can't throw an enemy that's already reeling, and if you whiff, it'll leave you wide open. So, be careful. Why do I feel like we're not really doing basics anymore? Stop whining and come at me. Let me show you how it's done. Say somebody uses a blitz shield on you. If you want to get the upper hand again, just blitz shield that sucker back. I'm gonna attack you, so you repel it. Got it? Reject it! Reject it! Reject it! Reject it! Reject it! Reject it! Taking back steps or moving away for too long, 
you'll see danger show up near the tension gauge. If you keep running away like a punk, then you'll end up with zero tension gauge, and that means a negative penalty. In other words, he who fights and runs away is just gonna get his ass beat. I'm gonna show you how that works, but whatever you do, don't try and do what you're about to see. make the victim lose their balance. We call this stagger. If you stay staggered, the other guy's gonna pound the crap out of you. So you need to recover fast. All right, hit me with something that staggers me. 